Hi, I'm Dean Honer and I'm coming to you in the middle of a pretty short trading week. That doesn't mean there hasn't been a lot happening. There has. We've had some pretty exciting data out of China. The manufacturing data there came out better than expected, which was a real positive for our market. We also saw the dollar lose close to half a cent when CPI came out that it grew only 0.6 of a percent, opposed to the 0.8 that was expected by the market. Domestically, I'm a big fan of Karoon. And I like them because management are willing to make some tough decisions. They're looking at farming out their assets. I recommended them in a note a week ago. Since then, they've rallied 10%. I still think they're good value. They're trading around $2.70, $2.80. And I think, take a six to 12 month view, they could be pushing $5.56. $6. Also domestically, I'm a big fan of Woolworths. Today, today they nudge all time highs of $38.87. Now, not a lot of brokers like buying stocks at all-time highs. I do, and I'll tell you why. They say two's a company, three's a crowd. Although I like Metcash, you wouldn't want to be them at the moment compared to West Farmers and Woolies. These guys are serious competitors. They got the market share, the dominance, and the management to continue on, and I think they will. Overseas, we've seen Nike, Shell plans for their fuel band business. Now, this wireless exercise technology that you wear on your wrist sounds good in theory, generate 110 million in revenue, but compared to the 23 billion in revenue generated by clothing and apparel, it just didn't make sense. And I like the way management made that decision quickly. They got the message out to the market, and I'm a buyer of Nike. Something else that caught my eye this week was the rally in McLeese Limited on Wednesday. Now the transport and logistic company has shaved 60% of its value since it listed in November. It's been a pretty good deal for the brokers who underwrote the issue. They generated $5 million in fees. But to you, the investors in McLeese Limited, after the rally on Wednesday of close to 20%, I say cut your losses and get out. There are too many similarities with Collins Food. Another deal by the, done by the big end of town, it listed, tanked, and then took two or three years to get back to where it was. I don't want that to happen to you, so I say get out while you can. My key takeaway for investors heading into the Anzac Day long weekend, is for us to start exploring the possibility of taking profits heading into the traditionally weak period of May. We've had a couple of really positive sessions, some better than expected data, and I think it may be time to take some money out of the market, sit on the sidelines, and get excited in June.